Hi, my name is Belgica and I'm an actress in California and today I want to help you figure out what to put in that real section of backstage because it is really important in order to get more auditions and get more bookings because that's what's going to show people what you look like on camera and what you look like when you're acting. So a reel in general should be one to three minutes long and it should be com uh, a combination of a bunch of different clips of you acting different projects that you have been in if you haven't been in any projects that have been you know filmed and given to you then you can also do a diy for your absolute first one and then as you do work then you can update it and uh you know put your best work so one to three minutes each clip should be 10 to 30 seconds depending on what's happening in the scene because this one is specifically for backstage the way that you put a reel on backstage is with a youtube link so i'm going to show you how to do that as well if you want to learn more about what a reel is how to do a diy reel if you know if you've never done any acting that's been on camera uh it's been recorded I have a video up here that I talk a lot more about what a reel is and what it should look like, but I'm also going to show you how to upload a video to YouTube in case you don't know how to do that. Super easy. And then we're going to take that link and put a reel on backstage so that next time you submit to something, you do have a sample of your work. Assuming you are already logged in, you can just click the camera at the top, click upload video, and then you can go ahead and drag and drop a file. I have one saved on my desktop that I want to use for this example. So I'm going to go do that. And while it's uploading, you can actually continue to edit the description, the title, all of that. I put my name, the project that it is, because it is a clip from one specific project that I want to share. I'm erasing everything of the description, putting the title again and then putting my email, my contact information. But of course, since this is for backstage, they're already going to have all of that information through there. They can message you through backstage. So this isn't absolutely necessary, but I usually like to put some kind of notes to tell me what that is, remind me, you know, what I'm doing when I'm doing it. And then you can click next and make sure your monetization is off so that nobody that you're trying to get an audition from is looking at commercials before you're real because it's just a waste of time. So you can save them some time and not have to watch uh, the ads. Of course, unlisted, either public or unlisted. If it is private and you copy that link, it's not going to work. So that while that's uploading, we can go and... Uh, edit anything else you want. If you want to edit the thumbnail, you can upload a different one that you created on Canva, Photoshop, whatever you like, or you can select one of those. I just left it because it's fine. And then I'm going to copy the link and take it to backstage. Again, mine in this situation is unlisted. And of course you have to sign in. Then you're going to click on my account on the top right, edit profile. And once you are in your profile, you're going to scroll down until you see your reel section on the left side. You can just click on video reels and then add a video and just paste your link there, your unlisted or public link. Import it really fast. This is for sure the fastest one that I have seen in any casting website. And then when you go and submit to something, you can now choose a reel to send over. Let me know if you have any other questions about backstage and thank you so much for watching. At the end of every video, I feature another channel. This is today's feature. If you would like to be featured on my next video, make sure you're subscribed, like this video and leave me a comment.